Alrighty, here we go. Selection grid. Alright, this is one of the most important uh, things that you need to do when you're setting up your show file and when you're creating your groups. Uh, it's often overlooked, um, but it is really important because it will affect um, effects that you make and it will affect like hue transitions and all of that. Very, very important. So, I have my selection grid here actually. What I'll do is I'll get rid of these and I'll bring this down here. So that way we can make it a bit bigger. Lovely. All right. So this is the selection grid. Um, you can find it. It's in your common view um, right there. You can just add that in. And selection grid basically has to do with how MA selects the fixtures, the order that it takes them in. So um, for instance, if I go uh, 101 through 110, it is going to put them in this lovely orientation here along the x-axis um, which is you know fine if you want that um, but the it means that sometimes your selection grid if you just go by that it won't be the default um, it won't be actually how it's oriented say in 3d right um, which does matter a lot when you go to add an MA trick or something which we won't actually do today but I'll do that maybe next week we'll see so if you notice over here I'm just gonna show you some of my grids. I actually have two groups here, um, both for my back uh, VLs that I made for just for an example. You can see here I have them oriented in the way that they are uh, vertically, so starting 101, 102, 101, 102, and so on and so forth. And then this group here, uh, it's actually, it's going um, vertic, it's going like horizontally, um, at least in this orientation. And, and this will mean that it'll basically be opposites along the X axis. Um, which is important if I go to doing a matrix of a wings of two, because this will split it here and make it go this way, but this will split it here. And that will make it even along this side and this will make it even top to bottom. I know, it's a little confusing. You have to kind of play around with it. Um, but it, any, anyway, it's very important. So we're gonna make a group today with the selection grid. So um, I'm going to take my fixture 101, type that in the command line. So you'll see here, it added it here. I don't want it here though, actually. I don't want it along, I, I want it down here because I want to orientate this the way it is here vertically. So, and the way that you do that, if I clear, has to do with this lovely little blue dot here. This is where it's going to go. This is where the next item you add is going to go. So if I go out here, and let's say I go down, I'm gonna move it here to this four along the Y axis, boom, 101. I'm gonna click that there. Let's go 102. So now we're getting there. You can see now it's starting to show up in the order we want. Put that there, 103, 104, and 105. And now we have a, a selection grid along the Y axis that matches the vertical orientation here of my fixtures. These are a Verilite 2600 profiles, by the way, in case you were wondering, you probably weren't, but whatever. Um, and this means that now if I go and I apply wings of two along the Y axis, it'll split it here along the three and it will go in either direction uh, for an effect. Um, so I could store this if I wanted store, um, you know, uh, stage right, far, stage right, BLs, lovely. And now that means that it will select that orientation every time that I select it. And you'll notice the difference is evident when I do 101 through 105. And it orients them, it orientates them along the x axis, not the y axis. But if I select it here, it moves it in this direction. Um, and you you can set this up in pretty much any way. I've seen people do it um very complicated, like they have literally you know things all over the place here. Right now, uh, the selection grid it cannot do negative numbers. I think they they are working on that so that way you could split it nice and even along zero. Um, but it's you don't really need that really. Um, this is just has to do with the orientation and that will affect your effects, your transitions, your cues, all of that good stuff. So selection grid, important, learn it, play around with it, but 
it, it'll make your show much more awesome. All right. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. I love lighting. You can probably tell. And I love MA. So let's do this.